So let's go ahead and mix our margarita. We're going to start off with two ounces of tequila. We're then going to take and add one and a third ounce. Okay, pour that out of my jigger first. One and a third ounce of Cointreau. Now, I've got a slight problem here, and that is because my jigger, and in fact most jiggers, don't have a third ounce mark on it. So I'm going to have to eyeball this to a certain extent. Um, if you want to take and make sure things work out fine for you, you want to take and think about the part standpoint, the three parts, two parts, one part, and just find a ratio that fits with your jigger. So you could start off with a half ounce as being the one part. So it could be three parts would be an ounce and a half of tequila, then an ounce of Cointreau, and a half ounce of lime juice. But instead, I'm going to be taking using a two ounce tequila, so I need one and a third ounces of Cointreau. And then to that, we're going to add two-thirds of an ounce of lime juice. Again, you got to remember that lime juice is an ingredient you want to make sure you measure very carefully because it can overpower the drink if you use too much of it. So there we have the ingredients of our margarita. Now let's get the ice. Now this is a stage where quite often you'd see someone take their mixing glass that they just got their mixing margarita with, dosing it in the salt to bring a rim onto it, and then pouring the contents of this into this, which I don't think works well. But I do sometimes like the salt in the drink. So what we're going to do is take and use what's called a salt rimmer, where you normally just take the glass, stick it in the lime juice, and then stick it in here. But the problem with that is it sticks salt on the inside of the glass as well as the outside of the glass. I want the salt only to stick on the outside of the glass. I'm going to use a fresh wedge of lime, rum it across the edge of the glass just to get a nice liquid layer there. I'm then going to take my bar spoon, hold my glass over this, and just drop down on the outside. And I'm only going to do half of the glass. Some people like the salt, some people don't. This way they can take and choose which side of the glass they want to drink out of. We then pour into the glass. Then we cut another slice of lime. Now one of the values of have, actually having a small wedge of lime using it as garnish, this allows the garnish actually to be a participation device for the cocktail. If um, the customer feels the cocktail isn't quite sour enough for them, they can always take the lime wedge and squeeze it into the glass. So if you have a drink you think the customer might want to modify, it's always a good idea to garnish it with a lime wedge like that. And there we have the margarita.